Hey Capricorn, welcome to the Trap House. It's your girl Brandy here with your weekly October 2019 reading. This is for the week ending October 26, 2019. I am doing a giveaway. If you subscribe to my channel and comment below, I'm going to reply to your comment. And on Sunday, I'm going to pick one lucky viewer from every zodiac sign to read a, or to receive a free tarot reading. So I'm just finishing up my pre shuffle hair. I always shuffle before I come online. And I just like to shuffle online so that you know it's real. These cards are already flying out everywhere. Y'all, I try to kick my car door. <laughs> To fix it because it got a little dent in it. And I think I broke my baby toe. I don't know what in the world would possess me to kick a, a metal chunk of hunk of car. And I'm just now realizing I did it like when I brought my kids in from school. And I'm like, why did my toe still hurt? That's messed up. I hope y'all can sympathize with me real quick. <laughs> anyway, enough about me. When I do my readings, I like to talk to God, the spirit guides, the ancestors, the relatives who loved us, who passed before us, the angels, the universe, and the creator of all things. I always ask for clear, positive, kind, but above all, honest messages. I'm going to start with your Power of Love Oracle. I use three different decks, or four, including the Power of Love. And I do that because I believe that if the cards are repeated, that that is spirit shouting at us, telling us to pay close attention to these messages, okay? Thank you, spirit. Oh, I mean, like, I don't know if it's the night air or what, but my toe is really hurting right now. Anyway, friendliness comes out first gratitude commitment and ownership okay those are your power of love oracle messages so what i can see here is that everybody could stand to be a little more friendly in today's world everyone needs a friend you are able to recognize the traits in common with another in order to forge love-based relationships ownership you acknowledge your misdeeds and your accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. So you're not blaming anyone for the way your life has turned out. You are committed to bettering yourself. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the very essence of your being. So you are committed to achieving your goals and you are grateful. Gratitude, you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons in life. That I'm um, sorry, the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. I'm going to leave friendliness out on top because that is the um, theme of the, you know, that was the first card that was pulled. So that is generally the overall energy. All right. And we'll see how that ties in. Start with the ghetto tarot. Thank you, spirit. And what messages do we have for Capricorn for the week ending October 26, 2019. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And that's so funny because... That card flipped over in the deck. I snatched it and put it at the bottom of the deck. And I really didn't even get a good look at it. I just saw some of the colors, but I know that this is the card. So you could be dealing with a childhood friend. You could be loving a childhood friend or someone who makes you feel like a kid again or someone with kids. Um, something about your kids is affecting your love life right now. So with your children, I'm um, sorry, with the Six of Cups, this is a reconciliation. So you may be wanting to reconcile with a past life um, or with a past love, or you could be with someone who you feel like you've known your whole life, even though you just met. You have the page of pentacles in your work section, and then you have the hierophant in your family section. So you could be um, thinking about a marriage or there could be some type of matrimony coming. You have the king of fire. So you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I see here Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and also your Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And what is the action that Cap needs to take? What do Capricorns need to know about their actions that they need to take for the week of October 26, 
her. We got the King of Air. You could be dealing with a um, uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Um, this is the Knight of Earth. So you are really showing up in your work section because you are very hard working when you want to be. And the Seven of I'm sorry, the Seven of Cups. We got the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right. Here we go. The Ace of Wands. So you are really attracted to someone or someone is really attracted to you. This is a passionate and fiery new beginning. This is someone I'm um, lusting for you. And you have the Ten of Pentacles in your family. There's a need. Your ancestors are definitely showing up here in this reading. And there is a need for you to maybe go back and do some research about your ancestors. Um, you may be seeking a mentor. You may... Um, okay, let me go back from the beginning. With your love life here, you have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is indicative of someone who is uh, from a, maybe a childhood friend. Or you are romanticizing about what could have been or what should have been with a partner, um, you know, childhood friendship. You could be dealing with a, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. It says, speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. So I see here that you have the king of air here and you also have the hierophant. So I'm going to say that at this time, if you need any mental therapy or any type of rehab or anything like that, don't be afraid to reach out for the help that you need. It can come in the form of your peers. It could be a book club, something like that. But seek the professional advice. You know, what? Where? Well, I know I'm in my 30s and so... We're at this age where a lot of us are professionals, so you may be able to even consult with someone from your childhood on a more private level and get the consultation that you need as far as your spiritual and your emotional advice, okay? Um, you also have here um, the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is a fiery, passionate new beginning that is going to be exciting and adventurous for you. And that is the strength that you have. You are always able to keep things fresh and new and exciting. And that is a beautiful energy to have. Um, like I said, with the action that you need to take, speaking your mind with confidence. Um, if this person is a person that you want, you have to say that clearly. They are not going to play games with you. They're not going to beat around the bush. They want you to come correct or not at all. Um, seek out professional advice. So you may want to go and talk to someone about how to approach this love. And this is if you are male or female. Um, there may be someone who's seeking out professional advice because they want to come correct when they talk to you. Um, balance mental and emotional considerations. Make sure that you are not thinking too much with your heart or, you know, being too, you know, make sure you're not being led by your heart, but also make sure that you are not letting your mind block you from the pleasure that your heart brings with the page of pentacles here um this is someone who may be going back to school considering um taking a new position you may be self-employed that's a beautiful energy and with the night of earth here it's time to buckle down and get things done honor your commitments and there is a guardian angel watching over your every move okay this is literally capricorn virgo taurus energy and it's at the center of your reading. That means that every card in some way is affected by this central grind or be broke. Are you going to grind or are you going to be broke? I definitely say you are on your grind and your guardian angels are going to make sure that you are okay. Your spirit warriors are fighting for you. And with the page of wands, the ability that that you have to make your job fun and to make sure that you do what you love and that you love what you do, that's going to keep you grounded and that's going to keep you moving forward as well. Um, that's going to definitely be the strength of your work. So make sure that you keep your playful energy. Don't play too much, but make sure you keep your playful energy because that'll really get you far in life. If you enjoy what you love, you will want to get up and do it every day. 
with the Hierophant energy, there is someone in your family that may be a mentor. It may be an extended family member, maybe someone who is very knowledgeable. Um, you may be thinking about going back to church or joining a spiritual union, or you could be looking into your spirituality more and maybe becoming a spiritual um, leader here with the Hierophant energy. The fact that you are here reading, the, um, watching this reading, this is your spiritual counseling as well. With the Seven of Cups, you have a lot of options. You have a complex decision to make. You need to do some research and you need to stop procrastinating. So heal your spirit, okay? Hang on to your spirit. Heal your spirit. Love yourself and never stop that, okay? Stop procrastinating is what spirit is telling you clearly. Get to your money. Get to your coins, Take careful consideration of where you are planting seeds here. You have the hermit card. So you may need to take a rest and spend some time alone so that you can heal. Maybe someone is drinking too much. Okay? You want to walk away from that energy. You want to walk away from overdoing things. You want to walk away from being in the spotlight. And a lot of that might have to do with excessive drinking. Make sure that you are taking care of your mind, body, and soul. With the king of brooms here, you are being called to focus. Focus on your tasks so that your dreams can come true. And so that you can fall in love with yourself and someone can fall in love with you or stay in love. And this is a suit, a king and a queen, even if it is too different. Um, a king and a queen, this is a couple. This is two people here who really believe in something and they want to make it manifest. It could be the relationship or it could be a career. With the knight of, I mean, sorry, you have the knight of earth here and you have the king of pentacles. This is also your Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. It says a successful time. Confidently accept opportunities that you are offered and you have the Midas touch. When you have the Midas touch, anything you touch turns to gold. An, opportun an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower and public recognition. So the type of success that you are after is one that will bring the public to your attention. So you may be really popping on social media right now, or you may have some ideas in store that will grow your popularity. And you want to make sure you stand your grounds and defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground and choose your battles wisely. So don't go picking fights with dragons. The dragon will bring you to a crest. At the end of the day, if you can avoid it, then do that. Focus on the tasks at hand. Focus on your Ten of Cups. Focus on your contentment, rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met and you are building trustworthy worthy relationships. And that's what you need to focus on in order to grow. So Capricorn, I'm not sure if this reading resonated with you. I hope it did. Please comment below so that I can get a better insight. I am going to read to you the Knight of Earth because it is here at the center of your reading, okay? The night of earth. It's time to get things done. Leave the planning stage behind and take action. Honor your promises and your what, what, what? Your commitments. Attend to details and be thorough. Someone you can expect to be loyal, dedicated, and dependable. A well-trained person who does an excellent job over time. A, yeah, it's, it's a slow-moving energy, so you take your time with what you do. A nature and animal lover who may be a vegetarian, detail-oriented, diligent, thoughtful, honorable, and kind. Renewed motivation, increased abundance, business travel, and a guardian angel. So that is beautiful energy for you to have in your reading. I'm also going to read this Ten of Pentacles here to you because it is um, also your energy towards the Capricorn. Pentacles are tangible things. Pentacles are money, material gains. With regards to family, an aging parent might need help and you might be thinking of moving him or her into your home. The timing for this is ideal. If not, this is the time to rededicate yourself to family matters and core values. 
Your perfect dream may not be a house with a white picket fence, but if it is, then that dream is becoming a reality. If you have a different idea of a flawless life, then, pre then be prepared to see that vision become crystal clear. So that is a beautiful energy for you to close out your reading with. Capricorn, I hope this message resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments below for a chance to win a free reading. You can also request a private reading by following me on Instagram at Trap House Tarot. Send me a direct message with your name, birthday, and your cash tag for payment. All right, so Capricorn, if you have a yes or no question in mind that you want to answer before you start it, please hold that question in your thoughts at this time. If it is a positive card, it is a yes. If spirit gives us a negative card, it's a no. If it makes me think a little bit and I say maybe, 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 then I'm going to ask you to bring that question back with you to our next reading. The winner will be announced for the giveaway on the Capricorn reading on next Sunday, okay? All right, spirit. So what messages do we have for Capricorn? Is the answer yes or no? Is the answer yes or no? Okay, win or lose. This is definitely a maybe. But this is you win some, you lose some, but you live to fight another day. Yep, this is definitely a maybe because there's some daydreams and decisions. You're still confused about a decision in your life. You don't know which way to turn. I'm going to read this five of swords to you to see what spirit has, um, what message the spirit has for you, okay? It's time to call a truce with someone. I can definitely say that whoever you've been bickering and battering with, let that shit go. Discern, I'm sorry, I was all happy to say discernment and I ain't even aware. <laughs> Disagreement, ego, detach, and love. Um, often matters of the heart, often in matters of the heart, people find themselves in disagreement and set against one another in a battle of wills. Ego takes the place of intellect. Greed overtakes generosity. The love in the relationship is forgotten in the desire to win. But where there's a winner, there's also a loser. The partners are no longer equal and the relationship can falter or completely break down. At this time, be cautious about letting your ego trick you into acting in your own self-interest, especially at someone else's expense. If another person is trying to provoke you, do your best to remain detached. Resolve disagreements in a way that makes everyone a winner. Find the middle ground where each person yields just a bit, but just enough. Let love be your guide in dealing with conflicts around matters of the heart. In the end, it is not winner, winning that matters. It is the love. Like I said, call a truce. Let that hurt shake go. Let that evil get out of your life and you move on and, and you enjoy your abundance. Like I said, with this King of Pentacles here, you have the Midas touch. So what could you possibly be arguing with anyone about? You've got it, babe. Peace.